Welcome back to the Little Black Shade Tree. We had a total blast customizing and decorating our beehive, and I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Beehives actually have to be kept painted. Uh, as most of you see, white beehives like this one, they have to be kept painted to protect them from the elements, to protect the wood from rotting in the rain. But that doesn't mean you can't have fun with your beehive and make it absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. So the first thing we did is I took the old hive and I got some exterior paint and I gave everything three coats. Make sure you do not paint the inside of your hive. The bees don't like that. And we put them, all the boxes, on this pole, which made it really easy for us to paint all the sides at once and let them dry without setting anything on the dirty ground and having to wait for dry times before moving on. On my hive, I wanted to put on some beautiful honeycomb, so I printed out a bunch of sizes, cut them out, found the one I liked, and I'm tracing it onto my hive. I used a good old Sharpie marker to trace it, and then I got some nice black paint. And there's always paint in the lid, so I just used my lid as my little easel and traced on that Sharpie marker. I put on an elegant queen bee, which I love. It looks a lot like a wasp, but I think it's elegant anyways. My daughters had so much fun painting their hive. I gave them free reign with their creativity on theirs. They each got a box to decorate. And of course we had a visit from my favorite goat, Rolo. Once everything was painted, I used a gloss acrylic sealer. It's exterior, which is even better. The paint is great in the weather, but I found that it scratches really easily, and I also like the look of gloss as opposed to flat exterior paint. And you can't paint hives when you have bees in them, so you want to make sure you do it right the first time. So I went ahead and got on two nice good coats of gloss exterior acrylic sealer. Oh my goodness, I love putting in observation windows in our beehives. The kids love them, and I love that we can check out our bees anytime we want without a bee suit. So in order to do that, I actually made a whole video that's coming out on how to put in observation windows in your hives. But I got this plexiglass from Ace Hardware, and it's actually pretty easy to put them in. We definitely have to keep doors on our hives so that the heat and the cold doesn't go through that plexiglass and freeze or chill the bees too much. And I got some good old hinges and knobs at Walmart. Kudos to you if you can find tiny hinges like these that are exterior and weather resistant. I cannot for the life of me find any. So this is the hive that we're replacing. We're putting all the bees from this hive into our new beautiful hive. So the first thing we wanted to do is take it apart and then start piecing it back together, back onto the little stand. These bees were actually really chill about the whole process. They were very relaxed and never got upset, which is a big deal because when you start rummaging through their bottom box, they tend to get a little bit upset. Oh, it's looking so beautiful. And I love that my daughter does the videography on this. She does such a great job. My daughters love being a part of the bees and the whole process that it takes. And there it is! It's gorgeous! This is the hive that my girls made. My eldest here decorated the bottom box, my middle daughter decorated the middle, and my little one decorated the top box. 
with a couple baby bees from me. Like I said, they love looking in those observation windows. We love watching them collect honey and have little baby bees hatch. So here's the one that I painted and I love it. I think it turned out gorgeous. It says, long live the queen. This one does not have any bees in it, but it will be waiting until spring and then I will fill it full of a colony and we'll have another hive in our apiary, which I'm really excited about. And I think this hive turned out gorgeous, so I'm super happy. And don't forget to check out my tutorial coming out on exactly how to put an observation window in your beehive. And don't forget to subscribe.